So, Valerie, as you can see, Goldenberg's peanut chews has chewy, chocolatey, peanutty pieces. It's still the same peanut chews we've been making for years. Go ahead, see for yourself. So, anything different? We're totally awesome. <laughs> now that's chewing it old school. And milk chocolatey, too. I'm Jamie Geller, and I'm here with my new friends, Nessie and Daphna. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Are you as excited as me? We are. I'm like jumping out of my skin because they're like superstar event designers from a la mode designer desserts, designer parties. Now, tell me what you created for us today. Okay, so we've created here today a Hanukkah dessert table. And as you can see, the table is both elegant and whimsical at the it same time. Absolutely is. It's gorgeous. Now break down for me, Nessia, what's going on here. Okay, so we created on the backdrop a beautiful menorah made out of uh, Mike and I candies. And then we went on to add elements of chocolate, fresh fruit, different types of drinks. And we added our special splash of detail that Alamode is famous for. Great, so you're now gonna show us how to make this step by step. We're gonna break it down, correct? Sure. And do we get to taste a little? Absolutely. Okay, great, let's get to it. So how does it all start? Uh, it all starts with a concept or an idea. And in this case, the concept is Hanukkah. Yes. So the first thing that we do is we start setting the table with a beautiful cloth. We put out a large black cloth. We then layered it with a second cloth. And the third cloth was the bam of color right. that we wanted to zap our table with. Right. And that was the black and white stripe. Okay, so one of the coolest elements, if I could pick one, because it's really hard, you don't have to be crafty, you don't have to be a baker, you don't even have to be a designer, to put, spell out something in these fabulously, what were they, mirror picture frames? Right. What it does require is a vision. Okay. and what your vision of your party is. Mm -hmm. So if it's a bar mitzvah, you can shout it out with a 13 in a frame. Right. For Hanukkah, right. we're screaming, yay, Hanukkah. Right, totally, and I got that. I heard it loud and clear. Okay, so the centerpiece of this table is the menorah. Talk to me about the whole idea. Where did this come from? But we wanted to do something a traditional that wasn't with candles and wasn't with fire. Uh, so we chose to do something fun and whimsical using Mike and I candies in these tall martini vases. We felt that every day of Hanukkah should be a special color, uh -huh. a, a special day. What okay. was the idea behind the scoopers? So the idea behind our scoopers were they were actually flames. They would represent the flames. So when we lined them up on the table, we lined the flames facing the center on one side and facing the center on the other side. Uh, paper cones are the rage. We simply measure six by six squares, okay. splice them, and you twist inward. And you simply take the stapler at the opening. Awesome. And oh, just one staple. There you have one staple, a paper cone. Okay, great. Um, this is something kids can staple. even do. Yes. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's so easy. And in this case, we're filling the cones with buttered popcorn studded with Mike and Ike's. Okay, so these are the party favors. Right. Okay, fine. So I'm filling like a clear acetate gift box with right. Mike and Ike's. And we found some acetate boxes that were in the shape of a dreidel as well. So I we love thought that. it was very appropriate for our buffet table. Mm -hmm. We're just going to fill them. We're just going to wrap a ribbon. Here we'll give you some yellow Wonderful. that coordinated with our uh, cloth. Yeah, so okay. this, this is what you call your bling box? This is our one of our many <laughs> bling boxes. Oh, I wouldn't want to say that you had just one. I'm so sorry. Um, other people fill them with jewelry. We fill them with uh, dessert jewelry. Right. And here we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on. Okay, great. Place it in the center. Okay. And suddenly your Mike and Ike box has become a power, beauty, take home gift. Okay, so Nessie, we're gonna make chocolate bark, right, for That's the right. table. Right, this is the easiest dessert that anyone can make. Wonderful, I love that. So what I did was I melted um, chocolate 60%, spread it out uh -huh. on a cookie sheet, put some parchment paper on first, kind of get the shape and design that you'd like. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter what shape you have, because ultimately you will be breaking it into right. pieces of chocolate bark. 
And I'm cutting over here some peanut chews. Look how beautiful they are. So we're gonna use some chopped peanut chews on top. And what else? And we're gonna take some chopped uh, apricots. We're gonna take some whole uh, roasted almonds, craisins for color. Again, just sprinkle them throughout. The salt, I love this. The nice salt. thing about uh, all of the uh, elements that we're putting onto this chocolate uh -huh. is you go from sweet to, to salty. Okay, everyone, I hope you learned as much as I did. Wasn't this amazing? It was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. We had so much fun. And if you want to know more about Alamo Designer Desserts, Designer Parties, you can visit us on Facebook at Alamo Israel or on our website, alamodeisrael.com. And you know where we're at, joyofkosher.com. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah.